It's a new day in Tokyo and we're off to Minato Ward. We've been invited into the home of gamer Futa Nagao. Oh. Was Mario the first game you ever played? Super Mario 3. So we've been kind of feeling like the Wii U may not be doing so well as Nintendo seemed to put out the same game over and over. Mario is obviously very successful, but they don't try a lot of things that are new and different. Is that the same sort of feeling here in Japan? Wow. Yeah, you're right. Nintendo does do the same thing again and again, but it's always slightly different. In Mario, there are these new functions like helping with blocks, new ways to play together. But Zelda and all these games, it's, it's the same thing. But I'm a fan, so I still love it. A fan is a fan. <laughs> I see you have all the consoles. Which one do you play the most? I play the PlayStation 3 the most. Xbox is not really successful here because they have an online subscription fee, whereas PlayStation doesn't. So the PlayStation 3 is definitely still the most successful in Japan. Do you think now with the PlayStation 4 that since they're offering a subscription model as well, that will sort of maybe even the playing field for the Xbox and the PlayStation 4 here in Japan? Japanese gamers will still probably choose the PS4 because it's cheaper than the Xbox One. And as you can see, in Japanese homes, space is very limited, so I don't think gamers will be able to get much use out of the Kinect. You'd need to move to a bigger house to be able to use it. So the current situation with the PlayStation being more popular here, I don't think that will change. What we hear from parents in Australia is that their children play too many games all the time. Uh, and they, they don't know how to limit that. But is that the same here, or is it more accepted that everyone should game all the time? <laughs> yeah, it's the same here. When I was a kid, I didn't get to play often because mum would say I could only game after I'd finished my homework. I'm not worried about my future daughter gaming too much, but my wife is definitely concerned. She said she doesn't want her child to play any violent video games, and no 3D games because it's not good for your eyes. So she already has certain rules about how our daughter will game. What about PC gaming? Is it very popular here in Japan? And do you play PC games yourself? Uh, PC gaming is not as popular as it is in other regions of Asia, such as Korea, but it's still fairly popular. More people will game on smartphones and tablets, though. If there is a game that's PC only, gamers might go for it, but generally they'll always choose the console option if there is one, and that's generally PlayStation. So what's the perception of Nintendo in Japan? Because we were expecting them to be at the Tokyo Game Show and they had no presence there really at all. <laughs> Nintendo are never at the Tokyo Game Show. They put their own event on in Japan. So no one is really surprised that they're not at the show because, as you know, they're so independent. I think they should be more like the other software makers. The 3DS was a huge success in Japan, but if they release something similar to the Wii U, I think they'll be in trouble. What's the anticipation like in Japan for the PS4? PlayStation 4 is there is great anticipation for the PS4, especially since Sony has announced that you can play PS4 titles on the Vita. I was skeptical when I first heard that. I thought if that's really possible, that would be awesome. But generally, the first hardware always has bugs. So if it all works, then I think they'll come out on top. There must be a lot of Wii games that we don't get. What's, what's Twilight Syndrome? A big horror game. This Captain horror Rainbow? Game. Horror game. <laughs> what is this? Captain Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> is he a superhero? <laughs> yes. What's his superpower? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure, but. What is this? They're all in the game. His superpower is he's fabulous. So, 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 so. Do you think you yourself may ever stop playing games as an adult? I've never thought about stopping. I'll always play games. But my parents always say to me, you're an adult over 30, why do you still play games? 
My generation has played games since childhood, but my parents never did. That's the difference. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking to us. Um, Shall we have a game? Yep. All right. All right. Nice save. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 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 uh, where were you on that one? <laughs>